I hate that I've even considered this, but I have actually thought about maybe doing a sellout goal for a sexy maid outfit. We haven't reached any of our recent sellout goals, which is fine. But I was like, what would it take for me to wear a sexy maid outfit? And then I was thinking 100,000 likes minimum, maybe 150k. I don't think we would ever reach that. So I'll put that in the back pocket for a bit and maybe we'll come back to it in a few weeks. Before we get into the first match, um, I did want to add one thing. I want to start another series that I'll only do like maybe once every two weeks or once a month or something. That's the plan. I was thinking, how about I open it up to you guys to submit, you know, a match or maybe just a round that you had that you thought was like really good or really funny. And then we will have a series where I try to guess what rank you guys are. And then I'll like look you up on our six track or whatever, get the answer. And then, I don't know, maybe we'll do something fun where like if I get a certain amount right, then uh, I don't have to do anything. But if I get a certain amount wrong, then I have to like give away something. I don't know. In the description, there's going to be a link where you can submit a match or a round. Actually, you'll have to submit the full match, but then you'll have to tell me what round you want me to watch. Because if you don't submit the full match, it does not work. I can't watch only one round. So we'll do that for uh, next week. And then I don't know when the video will come out, but I'm just going to prepare that so you guys can submit whatever you want. We're going to go into the first match. This one was actually submitted by Sam. You might know her as Spontaneous, another fellow content creator. Um, she was messaging me last night about how she had a very obvious hacker in her lobby, but then she also had someone who was queued with them, and she wasn't sure if they were hacking or not, so our goal for today is to watch it and determine if the person who's not Blaine is also cheating, or if they're just getting calls from their cheating partner. She sent this to me last night. I haven't even looked at it, but I do have the names. So Sam is accusing Far Not Famous as the cheater. He's already running Doc Shotgun, so probably cheating. And then that they were queued with Rav, R-A-V. She said that they noticed that this guy was very obvious and that this guy was doing suspicious things. So... We can already tell this guy's cheating because he has like Glacier on the pistol and stuff just because, you know. Also, apparently, chat's telling me, oh yeah, that's the dev attachment skin. But he's probably going to spawn peek here with the shotgun from across the map. We have Rav here as well, who doesn't look like he has aimbot or walls or anything, but this guy you can tell obviously he does. There, he kills Sam. Headshot, by the way. Oh my god, my ears. Okay, that didn't look like... Uh, hold on. Was it? So he peeks the first one. That one looked like he distracted. Okay, so he definitely saw... Who was that? The Ash? No, the Finca. Behind the Fuse. Because he killed the Fuse. That's... This might have just been coincidental. Because obviously, like, he saw the Finca. And then he re-peeks and is aiming towards her. But I think he just happened to be aiming where she was. And he whiffs those shots. I'm assuming if we go back and watch the dock, he's just sniping this guy from across. Yeah. So he has the no spread shotgun hack, which we saw in the last um, hacker replay. So our main goal with this clip is to determine if Rav is also cheating or if he's using callouts from his cheating teammate. So here we can see Rav run out again onto the Finca. 
but when he runs out, he's already aiming at prone level. So, I feel like most people would see this and say, hey, you know, he, uh, he has walls, but what we have to check is, so here Doc kills Capitao and he's looking at her, could be giving the call because he's just staring. He shoots at her. Maybe he pinged while he shot. I believe he just got the call. We'll see in the next round if there's more. Like, the guy is definitely... Like, we know he's queued with him because Sam already told us. We know he's being boosted by him, obviously. But we just need to see if he has walls or if it's just him getting callouts. Because if he has walls as well, then we can get him banned. But I think if he's just being boosted, I don't think Ubisoft bans for boosting. They're just like a temporary ban. Oh my god. Match replay is so bugged, every time you shoot, it makes infinite sounds. We know UB doesn't do jack to help console players. And this is in regards to mouse and keyboard on console. So, I'm not gonna roast, because, you know, a lot of people don't know. We're gonna take a little break from this match so I can explain this to you. Mouse and keyboard on console is not a Ubisoft problem. Mouse and keyboard on console is done by people buying a little device that connects their controller to the console and then, or not controller, sorry, their mouse and keyboard to the console and just makes the console think that it's a controller. So when you push W, it would say, oh, they're pushing forward on the stick. Ubisoft can't do anything about that. That is Xbox and Sony's problem to deal with. They cannot combat it other than do like once in a while updates where they'll stop it and then the XIM people just have a workaround. So saying that Ubisoft doesn't give a flying fuck about console is just outright false. And saying that Ubisoft doesn't do anything for console is outright false as well. Because Ubisoft does try to help console as much as they can, but it's on Sony and Xbox or Microsoft to do it. Ubisoft does what they can for console. It's just not much can be done. Okay, so moving back into the match. I feel like this guy is giving him callouts. Hold on. So the Jaeger has, um, what's the what's the term called? It's where you can shoot and the recoil doesn't show up on your screen. So I guess he has like no recoil and hip fire aimbot, and he still lost that fight. How do you lose this fight with no recoil and aimbot? Yikes. Okay. So, nothing there. He definitely got the call from his boosting teammate. I just want to see, because Sam said that she believes that he was either walling or receiving calls. I just want to see if we can find any evidence of actual walling. Also, either these, well, I guess it's unranked. They're not really gaining anything. But either these extra teammates just don't care that their teammates are hacking, or they're also queued with them. I don't think this guy is walling. The only time he's ever done anything that looked like walling is when we could say that maybe his teammate either pinged it, like his cheating teammate either pinged it, or they uh, they just gave the call out. But when he's on his own, he just does nothing. And then whiffs all of that. <laughs> 
Yeah, but then there, that was a little bit weird. Oh. Yeah, so I think the other guy is either pinging it or just giving him callouts. Because he's just tracking him through the wall and not doing anything about it. So he's probably giving Rav the callouts here. And Rav still sucks. I remember when they first started banning people for boosting, all the people who had paid for boosts only got a one week ban. And I don't know why, why they only did one week. I figured it would be like permanent or a couple months. They give them like a one week ban and that's it. Oh no. Him just shooting up to the roof was either like, I'm assuming faked or him testing a cheat. This will be the last round. We'll see if this guy is, uh, if this guy is cheating as well. And then we'll move on to the next match. We have six matches for each half. I tried to do, I think I have three overtime matches for the first half and then three regulation matches. And then for the second group, I think I have two overtime matches and four regulation. He can't even hit his teammate. I mean, he hit him, but he didn't kill him. looked at the trap and then ran into it anyways. Based on what I saw, I can't say that the the Rav guy is outright cheating. I'm sure he received a lot of calls from his cheating teammate, but that's about it. So Rav being boosted and unranked for some reason, and then Far Not Famous obviously cheating to the highest possible degree. What a weird, what a weird match. Here we have Kanzi.Durifuto, who's accusing K. Siad's Robok. Oh, I actually forgot to uh, I move. I forgot to move my camera for the first match. It didn't matter, but for this one, I'll I'll move it down. I always forget that my camera is now up higher by default. That's my bad. Robot guy is apparently cheating, but the match went for eight rounds. The reason why I chose this one is because the guy said he was pretty blatant. But I was like, how can you be a blatant cheater and go eight rounds? That makes no sense to me, so. So right off the bat, this guy was droning, which is pretty rare for a, a cheater. If he continues to drone throughout the rounds, then I wouldn't really say he's being blatant at least. Or maybe he's groaning to try to cover up his tracks? I don't know. He's not aiming anywhere where people are. Like, he's not blatantly tracking through walls. Oh yeah, they still haven't fixed the uh, reinforcement bug in match replay. Unfortunate. At least, even with the... Reinforcements not showing up. At least they still show the breaches. We're a minute into the first round. Chat, would you say this guy is cheating just a minute in? Again, the document said that he was blatant. So maybe he blatantly toggled on later, but nothing weird so far. Chat agrees. He's literally spending the entire round how I normally would. A minute and a half on the roof, just trying to look at all the angles, hoping someone peeks, no one peeks, and then you just wasted time. 
He's planting, which is very unlike a cheater. And puts on a claymore after being left in the 1v3? If he wins this... There's no way he wins this. Vigil's in. He shot the C4. No. Oh, okay, I don't have enough time. See, this is, for matches like this is where I want to play the game of guess the rank. Because if this was just a normal match, I'd already be guessing, like, bronze for this lobby or something. Because this feels like bronze players. Is this the exact same round happening? Again? No. Slightly different. Feels the same. So far, it feels like this guy watches a lot of my videos and just does the exact same thing I do. Ace onto roof, get the wall open, hold VIP, die. He's just like me. Oh, he just looked away. Also, the kill he got through a drone hole was not really suspicious. It was more uh, unlucky timing followed by lucky timing. And the Jaeger whiffing. I know, nothing blatant yet, but he says in the bio that the guy gets blatant, or is blatant. Maybe it's later, maybe maybe he starts doing something suspicious. Right there, he was just kind of half-tracking the guy through the wall, but... Could have been a sheer coincidence at that point. That's a mute on the other side of that wall. He didn't mute the mirror. I I don't know where this guy's getting the idea that this guy's blatant. It was pretty funny. It would happen a lot. When cheaters were at their highest peak, you would have someone on the enemy team cheating, and you'd have someone on your team leave and then rejoin, and they would have toggled on their cheats. Because the way they would do it is like they would just launch the game normally, and then in order to activate their cheats, they have to close the game and restart it. So then... You would just have people leaving the lobby one by one and joining back, and they'd all fucking have cheats. I remember one time in one of my matches, I think I made a video on it. We had, I think, three or four people in the same lobby who were all cheating. They all just kept leaving and rejoining and just activating their cheats. It just became like a 2v2 of cheaters versus cheaters, and the rest of us in the lobby like, what the fuck do we do? So, while cheating is a huge problem on Siege, at least it's not that bad anymore. Also, I, I'm pretty sure I have to say this literally every single time I stream this slash record it. Because we always get people in chat who are like, this guy's not cheating, move on to the next match. We can't move on because people can still toggle on or rage hack. This is an eight round match. What if on round seven he decides like, fuck it, I want to win and just turns on his cheats. We can speed up with the process and I might start doing this in the future if these start taking too long is uh, just skipping right to like round like whatever the overtime starts in and see if this guy has like a suspicious amount of kills or anything. Like that, he got a kill on Dokubi, he wasn't suspicious, he just snuck up on her. Oh, what the? Oh my god. What the fuck was that? Jeez, the, re the rewind doesn't work. And the audio bugs are really bad. I'm sorry for anyone watching this. No, he just reacted because he saw her standing in the middle of the hallway. What we'll do at the end of this round, we'll see how many kills he has. We'll skip to round seven, so we'll skip round six. And if he had a lot of kills in round six, then we'll go back and watch it. So he ends with five. He got one kill in that round. We'll speed this up. His teammate just died to the hookah spawn peak. Didn't even phase this guy. Mm 
that lined up so perfectly, but I'm pretty sure this was just a sheer coincidence, because look. He's like holding the angle on the door. Oh. Hold up. That's a little weird because only because so we've watched the entire match and I'm sure most of you can agree that this guy kind of just holds weird angles on stuff doesn't like hold tight angles and as we can see here this guy he kind of is holding too close like he's holding on the wall which is bad but then he corrects himself and actually goes right up against the door and then here he starts holding on the wall but then goes away and is aiming like in the middle of the doorway instead. Keep in mind, from this position, he would easily be able to hear Valkyrie sprinting, because she is full sprinting. So he's holding this angle, and then he, like, flicks, but he flicks past her. And then she runs into what his shot would be, but then he sees her butt go into the shower, because Valkyrie got a thick-ass dumpy. So... I'm going to say, for now, that I would gauge this as just, like sheer coincidence and it happened to work out primarily from luck and being just bad because this guy was holding really bad angles but i haven't seen anything that i would deem suspicious yet he kills the valkyrie it does seem a little weird that he went for that knife i don't know how that was a headshot Did I miss something? Is this a headshot? I have to like spam. Go like that. Okay, we'll let it go forward a bit. Pause. Okay. Aims way past. Hits the door frame. Hits the boxes. Flicks back, not even close to the head. That's a headshot. Probably is just leg. Remember that the per, or the replay is taken from the perspective of the person who submits it. So in this situation, this guy, on his end, he could be here, but on the server's end, he could be here. Especially if this guy is lagging or has high ping, he would see him farther back. That's probably what it is. But, uh, very, very weird. So that somehow was a headshot. The only thing I can think of is possible, or that would make that possible is leg compensation. Okay, from the rest of the match and how it's played out, I can fully understand why they would consider this suspicious. But Ace literally is just full sprinting through theater, or penthouse, sees Jaeger standing in the hallway. Jaeger's not even looking, and then he's like, oh shit, I'm not in a position to shoot, and then just sprays through the wall. He knew Jaeger was crouched, he knew he was in the hallway, that's not a hard shot to hit. And then Jaeger gets fucking sucked up to space, because the aliens want to perform brain surgery on anyone who plays Jaeger. If he had like three or four lineups through walls in that entire round and just like kept pre-aiming them through the wall or whatever, then I would have been a little bit more suspicious, but he just kind of like was aiming at random stuff and they would walk into it. After this match, we'll look up the uh, the accused, because I think this is a ranked match, so we'll see what uh, elo they're in. And then maybe we'll look up the accuser and see uh, what elo they're in, see if there's a difference. Okay. Oh. What I want to know is how come the Dokubi, who's the one who called him, didn't hear the phone ringing from right above him. If I had heard that, I would have been staring at the hatch waiting for him. Then he pings the diffuser. That one's not really crazy. 
just kind of drops, and I'm sure he could probably hear the Nomad shooting in there before. That was a little bit weird. He turned the corner and was just ready, but... I don't know if Sledge did anything. I guess if I'm leaving here, I would have... Well, actually... Sledge, I believe, started... Walking or maybe sprinting here? Which would have been enough to... Oh no, he full sprints. Okay, yeah. If I was Oryx, I would have heard that too. I don't know why he aimed so low, but... He did, uh... He did hear him. Maybe... I guess this is the round he accused him for, because he's just running around... Dummying people. Yeah... Unless something crazy happens here with the last two. I... I don't think he's cheating. That part there was a little weird. It was half subtle. Just like he's aiming at nothing. I don't know what the fuck he's aiming at. And he aims up and then his aim follows the sledge across the left. That's kind of hard to ignore, but could be a coincidence. It's just like a one-off thing that doesn't benefit him at all or do anything, so I can't imagine it would be cheating. And then like there. Like if he was cheating, if he was walling there, he would have... Wait, there's another round? Oh no. Attackers won. Never mind. I'm dumb. I thought it was in the favor of uh, the cheater. So, like, there were some weird coincidences or, like, weird lining ups through the wall. But if he was tracing that sledge through the wall, why did he not notice the Hibana pushing up? The Accuser is in gold 3 and has gone to plat. Interesting. And then the Accused accused is in gold. Was in silver. Yeah, I can kind of understand why. Because if you're like a plat slash gold and, you know, matches were played out like that, I too would be accusing everyone. <laughs> I see this is this would have been a good match for the uh guess the rank series. I would have guessed that that lobby was silver or bronze and that was gold slash plat. You know, not trying to roast the guy who submitted it. We didn't really watch his perspective that much, but that whole thing was played out pretty rough. We have incendiary.bc who's accusing EDNMN. This man submitted the wrong match. Because there's no EDNMN on the enemy team. Um, we have Lou Louis who's accusing Gio Tapioca. We've done... This is going to be, what, our yeah, fourth match. And we're already 45 minutes in, so... We're actually going a lot longer than usual already. Although the last one was an hour and a half, and I whittled it down to, like, 40 minutes, so... Maybe this is more average. I don't know what this guy is doing already. He just reinforced like three different walls across the room from one another and just kept running back and forth. We're a whole minute in. And right now he's just pushing the Monty and completely whiffed to C4. <sighs> that reaction time, that was something else. The team kill. Solid start. Runs into the enemy fire. Um, okay. Okay, we're 
20 seconds in, the whole enemy team is already right on that window. Please don't tell me they accused him because of that, because he shot the fuse charge. He's just putting down his second camera. It's 40 seconds into the round. Okay. Solid. Fuck. As soon as I say that, we find some action. Just fired at nothing, so that... At least shows that he wasn't lining someone up through the wall. Okay, the drone is here, but no one's on it because all the attackers are still alive. He can hear the guy sprinting. Kills him. No one is watching the flank. Oh, the it's barricaded. Yeah, that makes sense. Very confused as to what I'm watching. Chat, without looking up their ranks, what rank would you guess this is? Okay, we can confirm Thermite is the one who submitted it. We got the confirmation sound. I honestly don't know. This is unranked, by the way, so it's like, it's not like they're all the same rank, but... Chat's mainly guessing silver. There is a barricade here. The barricade's still up. Just siege things. Doesn't have enough time to defuse anymore. He can't even... Even if he sprinted to it, he wouldn't have enough time. I don't know what the fuck happened this round. I don't think he's cheating. Unless this man toggles on or something. There's no way. It's gonna be a run out C4. Oh. Okay, this guy can't be cheating. He literally just threw a C4 on an empty balcony. The entire attacking team is over here. Like, what? And he's still running out on it. He has no idea. I just love decks, bro. But, okay, so, like, what caused this guy to accuse it? That's what I want to figure out now. Because, so, his Sledge is the accuser. At what point was he like, this guy has to be cheating? What caused it? So far, there's not been anything. They're, they've taken sight again, and this guy is trying to play for retake. Maybe here is where he gets suspicious, because maybe if he wins this uh, 1v2, he's like, there's no way. What is that guy doing? Why is he prone in the middle of the room? Oh my god, 20, 17 okay. seconds. Hold on. What was that? It looked like he was aimed to the left, and then all of a sudden just transferred to the right. Okay, hold up, hold up. Can I even see the frame where the shot... Or, like, the aim transfers? I don't think I can. I'm not even, like, concerned about him aiming over here. I'm more concerned about how fast the shot... Or, like, his aim flicked to the right. Like, okay, there's when he would be able to start seeing him. He sees him. Just flicked over so fast. That was probably like two frames that he flicked across. That's ridiculous. I would say that this guy seems to play a bit better than the rest of the lobby, which feels like they're in silver. I won't say that kill was that suspicious. He's watching the kill cam right now. I want to see if he reports him off that. We don't see anything. Realistically, um, the sledge was pinged from the camera. Or from a camera, if there was a camera there. For me, the thing wasn't even aiming at that rotate hole, because that's a very common rotate hole to aim at. It was just that weird flick that felt like it was half a second. Or not even half a second, like one-tenth of a second. That didn't even look like he had recoil control there, but... 
Honestly, don't even know why this guy didn't shoot back. He just kind of like slow peaks. It was the frost. Oh, he did shoot, but he missed. Oh, and he's also... Okay, so one thing that we can't tell, but we can tell from this perspective, he's literally just sitting in the open. This is a rotate hole, and he's just standing in the middle of the hole. So it's not even like he's hiding there. Yes, the Twitch had no recoil control, but... The frost was standing out in the open. That's just a freebie. What did I just watch? That hurt. That was some rob shit. I, I'm still trying to figure out... It, it must have been that one shot on round three. It has to have been. That's what made him accuse him. There's no way. Bro, they didn't even reinforce sight wall. They didn't reinforce the hot tub wall. They got Ash to Ash charge it. And these guys are out here trying to claim that he's a hacker? This is a lost cause. There has to be a shield here that we can't see. 100% there has to be a shield. Right? Maybe. They didn't even reinforce sight wall again. These guys have to be trolling because it's unranked. They have to be. Okay, I will say this part here is a little weird. That must there must be a shield there or something. Cause he like look, he flicks here onto him. But like I mean I can't tell how many times that I have over flicked and then accidentally aimed at the wall instead. The only thing I can say that would like stand to reason as to why this guy is cheating. Is he's running this fucking god awful Ash skin, and only a brain dead idiot would run this skin. And hackers are brain dead idiots, so that's the only thing I can see that could make a, a case for it. I wish we could see shields. Would be nice to get an idea of where stuff is. Well, match is about to come to an end here. This guy's smart, he's trying to play vertical. He didn't even do anything that last round. Alright, the case must have been made solely off of round three when he flicked onto the sledge's head, but not that great. I would, you know, have to say not cheating, because I can't imagine how that guy would be cheating other than that one round, but one kill in one round is not enough. He's level 70, he's unranked. Never played, or he's played two ranked matches, one ranked match. He has a 0 0.25 KD and a 0 0.67 KD in that. Like, no. I guess, like, if he normally plays and he's a 0 0.25 KD and then he played that match cheating and had a higher KD, then sure. But this guy is also level 73, never played ranked. So I can kind of get why he would accuse him. Very questionable matches we have today. This match goes for nine rounds, but yeah, if there's no cheater in it, I'll maybe do one more match or something. We'll see. Or if it goes by real quick. This is the one that we talked about before, where it's Julius Cross who's accusing jhoun.shk. Okay, so far two people are dead, one guy left. That is the aim of the accused player.
That guy's literally done nothing but walk around. Who is that? That's the Aruni. Who's on cams? Okay. So it's a little weird. But here, so he probably. No, the guy was silent stepping, so he probably wouldn't hear it. But Aruni got off cams, she was prone. And then, it's like, you know, when you're prone in a position, you're laying one way, and then you move just, like, one centimeter, and then your person flips around? That's what a Rooney just did. If we go third person, so he gets off cams, gets back on cams, gets off them, flips around. Makes a lot of noise, the Ash would be able to hear that. Honestly, I'm more impressed with his ability to pinpoint exactly where that was, because I would have been like, where the fuck is this person? But... Good on him for figuring that out. Okay. Interesting spray from left to right. I love seeing people like this who have like full control of the vertical recoil, but they just can't control the horizontal. Also, what a classic Ash main. Look at him bobbing up and down the stairs here. Like, just the spam crouching. Which, by the way, doesn't work anymore. Don't spam crouch. It actually is a disadvantage for you. It's easier for the enemy team to kill you. Did he accuse him because he... Like, does he ace here? That looked like he just... Panic sprayed across. They have 26 seconds left. One guy left on site. And they're rotating across the entire map with bell cams pinging them and them being spotted. Uh. Who are what are the defenders playing on like rock band guitars? Looks like he's just getting ready to rush again. So far this guy hasn't done anything suspicious enough to be like he's like checking them through walls, he knows where they are or anything. It honestly just feels like he's walking around the map. And he just hears them, or they push him, or they just whiff all their shots and he kills them. That seems really weird. I just love Dex, bro. I don't know how he would have heard the Aruni here. Love the content. The Claymore isn't even in a spot that works because you can see that it uh all the lasers get blocked, so he actually failed to put down that claymore. But I don't know how he knew the Aruni was on the stairs. That I'll, I'm a little confused about. That's Alibi dead. Maybe that claymore actually is working, because I don't know why the Aruni didn't just walk right past it. He gets flanked. He dead. Okay. That's the guy who has been gone for the entirety of the match who just came back and then immediately shoots his own teammate. I really want to see how this fight goes down. This is the... Uh, I think it's the cab up there. Right? No. Oh, it's the Aruni. We have this permanent drone noise in the background that I'm really starting to get annoyed of. Oh, it stopped. What is that breach? So he aces the first round, and so far he hasn't done a whole lot. 
I think he's running Ella Shoddy, so like, 100% no, it's running Ella Scorpion, never mind, this guy's a fucking cheater. This name just sprints right up to the door here. Throws the drone, okay, like... Uh, they're just handing him kills. Maybe what I'll call this video is just like, silver players think everyone is cheating, or something like that. Okay, so there we have confirmation that Flores is the one who submitted it, because he got hit, and you could hear him take the hit shots. So did the, as he got hit, so. He is the one who submitted it, and you can hear his gadget going off, so. More confirmation. I just really want to see what he does to make... Like, it must have just been the ace or something, I don't know. Or this with the... I was going to say the best flank of the century, but... Uh, best would be a little generous. This guy doesn't even know that there's... Like, this is part of the site. Oh my god. I'm... I'm in physical pain. I, I don't even know how to... Make this relatable to you. Okay, actually, I have... I, okay. Like, you know when you come home from, like, a hard, long day of work... And you walk in, and you see your wife cheating on you for the fifth time that month. And you just think, fuck, like, my life couldn't get any worse. Watching this match is, like, five times worse than that. At least now you guys can relate with it. Okay, nothing crazy. That was a little glitchy, but I think that was just match replay. I don't know how that was a headshot, but we've seen a lot of glitchy headshots today. That was not a headshot. That was just Siege being Siege. This guy's 11 and 3. Blue guy, Rosani, just left again. God, I hate that the Flores drone sound is on the entire time. Please don't tell me he gets the kill here on Zero. Okay, I was going to say, Zero walks right into that. Wait, we did get the, uh... Wait, no. Oh, we didn't get the sound confirmation on the Flores dying. But we get the... We had a sound confirmation on the Hibana dying for some reason. Now it's not there this time. I don't know. I think we have enough proof to know that it's Flores who submitted it, but, like... This just hurts. This whole match hurts. Like, the J-Hound guy isn't good. The enemy team is really bad. If this truly was someone submitting to try to, like, boost their own ego, this is not a match to watch and say that they're good. Like, or to boost an ego. It's just, it's bad all around. Okay, this guy, I'll say for sure, is getting headshots that he shouldn't be getting, but like... Wait, wait, what? That wasn't anywhere near him. How did he get a headshot on this? I don't think he's using like... What's it called? The hack that when you just shoot... It just auto hits the head for you. I don't think he is. 
I honestly think this is just replay being awful or like lag having an effect. I don't know. I just want to say that somehow Halo 3 had a perfectly working uh, replay system and that game came out in 2007. I understand that Siege has way more um, intricacies and the destruction causes it to be very difficult to make a replay system, but like, god damn, is the replay system in Siege bad? I'm happy we have it, honestly, like, it's better than not having it, but it's very hard to determine anything when the entire system just does not work. And I know it's in beta. I know it's not a full release replay system or anything, but usually when I am in a beta for something, it's uh, not this bad. Another headshot. The only thing I'm looking out for now is like if he has a headshot hack or something where every single kill he, like even if he hits him in the body, he gets a headshot. But for the most part, this guy when he shoots at someone, he's just spraying left and right, up and down, and happens to get a headshot. Like, there's never been a moment where he just completely whiffs and then gets a headshot anyways. Didn't get a headshot on zero, and then just flung across till he killed Finca. Oof. Alright, well, that's it for the match. He ends the game with 18 kills. I assume that they win. So, the accused, his team wins. I cannot say that he was cheating at most. Like I said, maybe he had a headshot thing or like something like that, but I seriously doubt it. I, I don't think so. This guy is unranked, level 68, gold when he played ranked. It kind of makes sense. The accusation does kind of make sense. It was an unranked match, so, you know, it, it, makes, it makes sense. Alright, well, last match. I completely forgot that we hadn't done the Chalet one. This match, we have Dark Mika, who is accusing BES.DeadlyZoff. Okay. He looked like he was going to go over to Trophy because he saw someone drop and then stopped and checked himself, but it could be coincidence. They're just kind of walking around. Uh, you guys? Yeah, I saw what I saw, right? Could be a coincidence, because he could be just trying to hold this tight angle on the door. If someone runs in, then he could be ready. It's not crazy to think about. He was ready for that. He just looked at that guy through the wall as well. But... Didn't aim at him, it just kind of was like hovering over him. This is something I didn't notice while recording this, but I noticed during editing. You can see that Ash begins to shoot at Aruni as soon as the outline goes across her reticle. Yet Aruni's actual body isn't visible at all on the screen, meaning Ash reacted to absolutely nothing. If someone peeks here and they're like crouch level and he aims crouch level, we might have a case. Uh, he aimed head level and then aimed down. I don't know. He didn't even shoot him. The enemy team doesn't know. And then he kills this guy coming to blue. Weird, but the only thing I found weird in that round is that he walked in with a lot of confidence and just wasn't punished for it. He even like shot the trap and no one turned around to look. Cause like, what is this aim here? 
here, I was gonna say he couldn't even see Kate, but he can. We pause at the perfect moment where you actually can see Kate peeking. And then he tries to aim head level. I honestly don't know how that wasn't a headshot. He must have, uh, like, shot in between. Um, he gets run out on. You wouldn't have been able to hear the vigil while the barricade. What? Okay. This is where it gets suspicious. With this barricade being closed, you can't hear anyone inside. It's just not possible. No one's on drones over here. When he pushes up, he like stops and he like waits for the vigil to leave, punches the window. You would have been able to hear the vigil sprint down there. But then when he only looks over when he's like very slow walking up and then pre-fires and he's aimed ready at head level. That is pretty suspicious and that's very hard to ignore. Why is he... Like, he's not even checking anything. It's like he's just... He knows the person's in fireplace? There's drones. Like, maybe they called it out. There's a drone over here. But the door is barricaded, so I don't know how they would have seen it. Instead of checking any corners, checking any angles, he just walks up, like, holding the one angle where the person could be. And that's it. If he kills this guy here, we're going to have to do some investigation. Because, like, how does he know he's there? He might have heard him. I'll have to go back to when he was walking through blue. If he heard him running above him, then I could understand why you could assume that. That seems so weird. So, like, he just assumes that he's crouched in that corner? With no drones, no intel. He just assumes that. Sees him walk in. And was ready for it. I don't know. That is getting very hard to uh, give benefit of the doubt. And he aimed at that guy there. He's aimed crouch crouched and then aims at head level there. Specifically for that one peak. A little bit weird. Walks through the prisma, so he's getting pinged. Preem the wrong, wrong spot. Uh. Oh, I'm looking. I'm feet perspective. Why do I have feet perspective? is only fans perspective this guy just died who was a jackal or nomad or something died over here to the bandit and ash is ready for it Okay, there is no reason why like no one gave the call out to ash or anything that bandit was in bathroom. Bandit did walk up to it though. Did he sprint up to it? Oh, he did. If you're really good at sound touring, you would have been able to hear that. So how does he know Zofia's there? He is sprinting, which would mask any sound of Zofia Crouch walking up here. 
full sprinting and the breach is going off. But halfway up the stairs, he stops and just like, oh, someone's there. Then he does something like that. He's never done that in the entire match. We have watched all eight rounds. Never once did he wildly spray through a wall. Right? Not once. He never pre aim or he never pre fired through a random wall. He never um sprayed wildly. And there he did it in the final round. Like every single time he's gone to kill in this entire match, he has been ready and aiming where they are. Was he standing? No. Jackal is crouch walking down the stairs. I guess if this guy has his audio cranked to a thousand, he could hear this, but. You know, with everything else he's done, it's. It's looking more like he is, uh, is cheating and cheating and cheating. So here, no one's on cameras or anything. He stops in the middle. Like, I guess aiming there wouldn't be the worst, because obviously if you're going to run this down the stairs, you're going to aim towards fireplace, but it seemed like he just knew he was there anyways. And then he was going to run after the ash there. We're going to look up this guy's stats. He has a negative KD this season. And that match, he went 18-4. and four. How he played is not how a gold person plays. I have never in my life seen a gold person play like that. Alright, my judgment is based off that performance and how his stats look. I think he must have been using something. It must have been walls or something. I have never seen someone go that inconsistently, like, 18 and 4 and then 1 and 5. Like, that never happens. He has to be using something. I would guess walls. Because he played way better than a gold ever should. Even better than a plat ever should. Like, he was sound whoring to the highest degree. He was just destroying anyone who even dared challenge him. And a lot of the times, it wasn't even just hearing someone walk. It was like, he's sprinting. The other person is crouch walking, and he can still hear that person. I, I don't think there's any possible way I could defend that. So I, ha I have to say he's cheating. I'm like 90% confident. I am guessing he has walls. But what a way to end the, the first session. That was an interesting one. That puts us at two hours for the recording. Jesus, I'm going to have to whittle that down a lot. That's going to be it for the first recording, and now we're going to go into the second group, which will come out a week after this one.